Hello everyone, welcome to my show, I'm The Empath, and we're here with a series that I'm calling Small Talk. What I have today, because it's Valentine's Day, and, you know, it's a holiday of love and such, is I want to talk about the holiday. Stereotypically, the, the thought is that, you know, guys view Valentine's Day as, oh, they have to do all this stuff to spoil their girlfriend the guy spoils the girl on this one day and then the other 364 days then he's off the hook you know and that's not how it's supposed to be valentine's day is supposed to remind you to value the relationships the people that care about you and it doesn't just apply to couples sticking with couples yes you should be caring about the one that you're with and giving that sort of special attention every day, all 365 days in a year, or 366 if, in the case of leap year. Valentine's Day is a reminder. Uh, it is an excuse, if one is needed, to spoil the one that you're with, the one that you love. It's not meant as, oh, you can just do this day right and then you can say piss off to the other days no it is a reminder to value the one that you're with the one that you love but there are still a lot of guys who do get that right and they want to spoil the girl that they love not just on valentine's day but valentine's day is a good excuse and i like it because i like really any excuse that we have to celebrate. I think that any time that we can celebrate the joy and the happiness that life has to offer, we should. I mean, there's too many times where we focus on the sad things. You turn on the news and it's talking about natural disasters, robberies, murders, everybody dying of disease and everything, and everybody's killing each other, and it's just depressing. Or you have all the stress that you have going on in your life. You know, you need to have a job and pay bills and pay rent and take care of the house and do all the chores and clean things and get sleep and get to work on time and all the other stuff. You know, it's nice to be able to focus on the good times, which is another reason for Valentine's Day and holidays in general is to help you to focus on the good times. And with Valentine's Day in particular, it's to help you focus that there is somebody with you to carry you through the bad times and to celebrate the good times with. But the thing is, is that there are a lot of people who are single. When you're single, if you are like me, and you're not as comfortable with being single, and you're not as comfortable with just flirting around and dating around, you want to find somebody to settle down with, the thing is, you might feel alone. You might feel... Like, nobody cares about you. You might feel like everybody leaves you. And I had this, I had this revelation today. We had a Q&A sermon today in church where we can anonymously text a question that we have and our pastor Rob will try to answer it as best he can. And towards the end of it, one of the questions was about uh, this verse in Ephesians about wives submitting to their husbands. And the thing about the verse is that wives are supposed to submit to husbands and husbands are supposed to die to themselves for their wives. But the point of the entire section of it is saying that both are to try to meet the needs of the other person. The reason why it says men are to die to themselves is because they're supposed to do like Jesus did and give up their own needs and their own desires and try to meet the needs of others. Now, maybe not quite to that extreme, but that sort of concept that you are willing to set aside your needs and your desires in order to meet somebody else's. And that helps for the perfect relationship when both partners do that, or both people in any relationship do that. When two people 
focus on meeting the needs of the other person. That way, you have met that person's needs, that person has met your needs, and both of you, your needs are met. And that makes the relationship grow stronger, which is why it is a good thing for couples. But the thing is, is if you're single, if you don't have somebody, then you will feel alone, you will feel isolated, like nobody cares. And the thing is, is that's not true. There is somebody or a group of people, and they care about you. You are important to them. You matter to them, even if you are too blind to see it, even if you discount them. I will admit there are friends of mine who they care about me, but I have not given it the proper recognition and appreciation that it deserves. And you know why? It's because I'm not focused on the right thing. I'm focused on the type of attention and affection that I'm not receiving because of the type of person and the type of relationship I do not have in my life. But I'm not taking the time to focus on those relationships, those connections, those people that care about me and that I matter to. If you take the time to focus on the f people that care about you and how much that matters, you're going to realize that a lot of the bad things that you're feeling, a lot of this loneliness that you're feeling starts to dissipate and you feel just a little bit more at peace. And you might be thinking about the fact that you have needs to be met, but you don't have anybody to meet those needs. But the thing is, is that sometimes you have to be the first person. Sometimes you have to be the one to go out and meet other people's needs first. And then you will find somebody to meet your needs or a group of people to meet your needs. That's how it was for me in high school. I started just randomly figuring out how to be who I wanted to be and just treating people the way that I wanted to be treated and the way that I felt that they should be treated, that I should treat them. And suddenly, you know, by my junior year, I had so many friends who were there for me and cared about me and supported me whenever I was having a tough time. And it's just insane. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. But it's true that when you are there for somebody else and you're meeting other people's needs and you're there for them, you will find that there are a lot of people who are there for you when you need them to be. And that's... That's something that we miss. And we don't take the time to appreciate those people because we're too focused on whoever it is that we want to care about us in that way but doesn't. We're too focused on one need and one way of satisfying that need that we don't see the other ways that it can be fulfilled, that it can be taken care of. One of those ways is by meeting others' needs. And the thing that we don't realize is that there's a certain satisfaction that you can get by meeting other people's needs. And part of that comes from the hurt that we have experienced in our own lives. When you hurt, you tend to not want other people to hurt in that same fashion. And so you try to do the best you can to prevent other people from hurting in that same fashion. And that's why we have actors and comedians and entertainers. It's because we want to let people be happy. We want to make people be happy and to not go through the pain that we have suffered. And so it also provides us with a certain benefit, a certain release from that pain. And beyond that, by meeting somebody else's needs, there is a natural bond, a natural relationship that is formed from doing that, especially doing that enough times with any individual that that person wants to do the same for you. You have met that person's needs. That person has one less need, which means they can focus that energy towards somewhere else, and that person wants to focus that energy on you. Because that person sees that, yes, you helped him or her, but you have a need. You gave up your own time and your own energy, and you helped that person, but you have needs of your own that you need help in order to meet. And so you will find that some of these people that you're helping and you are meeting their needs, 
they return the favor. And the thing is, is that you've got to do it first because there are, it's very rare that the other person will initiate first. It depends on your situation. But oftentimes, you have to be the one to initiate. And that just gets it started. And you might have to go through a few people. There might be a bunch of people that, no matter what you do for them, they never seem to return the favor. And it's understandable. And it's okay. You shouldn't expect these people to meet your needs. You should do it. You should do the things that they need you to do. Meet their needs. Because that's the right thing to do. And because you love them. And you care about them. And it will bring you a certain amount of fulfillment. And it will strengthen your relationship with those people. And you will find that there will be people who want to meet your needs. And when you find those people... When you find those people who care about you and who want to meet your needs and don't want you to be sad or angry or unhappy, take the time to recognize how special that is and to appreciate how wonderful that is, how meaningful that is. Spend time with these people. Talk with these people. Vent. Tell them your troubles and your worries and your needs. These people have expressed that they want to be there for you, so let them be there for you and appreciate that they are there for you. And that's going to help you so much because to get to fulfill whatever it is that need of yours is, sometimes it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of patience. A lot of trial and error. So meeting other people's needs and them meeting yours in the meantime is a good way to make it through the time. Because that can be one of the hardest issues to deal with, is making it through the time. So give these people the appreciation, the recognition that they deserve. And it's not, oh, they did this wonderful thing, so they should get all kinds of gratitude. But no, it's it's less about the entitlement on their part and more about you. Recogn when you recognize how much these people care about you, it makes you feel better. And don't just disregard it at, this person doesn't mean enough to me, this person isn't important enough to me, this person... The fact that this person cares about me doesn't satisfy this need because it's not that kind of a relationship. Don't focus on that. Focus on the people that care about you, that are there, that stay. Form a relationship with these people. You know, Strengthen your relationship with these people. And you will find that it's a lot easier to cope. And it's a lot easier to deal with things. And I know, I know, it's not easy being single when you desperately want to be with somebody, when you desperately don't want to be single, but you want to be with somebody that you love. I know that's hard. I know that's difficult. And it's painful. And it's torture. And it is miserable. But you've got to push on through there was an image that popped into my head during the last worship song that we sang today. It was this image of myself surrounded in darkness, but at the edges of the darkness, there was light, and more importantly, there were these people that cared about me. And I was so distraught and so blinded when all I needed to do was to let these people in, to rely on these people, to trust these people, to depend on these people. And see, Valentine's Day, it's not just to call your attention to this relationship, this boyfriend-girlfriend, this husband and wife, or whatever it is. It also calls your attention to the people that care about you, that love you in a different sense. You should recognize that relationship, that connection. Recognize how much 
that person or those people care about you. Take the time to recognize it and appreciate it, if for nobody else, for yourself. Because you will find that you will be so much happier when you recognize and appreciate those relationships. When you actually decide, well, this person cares. Let me talk to this person. Let me tell this person what's going on. Let me depend on this person. Even if it's just for a little while. Because you do have needs, and they need to be met. And you have people that are willing to try to meet those needs as best as they can. And that's what matters. That's what's important, is these people who care about you. So if you're in a relationship, then appreciate the person that you are with. Do everything you can to meet that person's need. And that person should do everything that that person can to meet your needs. And if you don't have somebody like that, then look at the friends that you have. The people that care about you. And even if you discount them for whatever reason, don't. Recognize them. And appreciate them. Appreciate how much that those people care for you and try to meet their needs and meet the needs of anybody that you see as best as you can and you will see how many people will rise up and will try to meet yours and be there for you and support you and make you feel like you are loved and like people care about you and like not everybody will leave. Try to meet other people's needs, and you will see that even if you don't have that one person, you will have a bunch of other people doing their best to keep you happy in the meantime. I've, I want to thank you for watching, if you made it this far. If you did, then... I hope that something along the way has helped you today. I know that this sort of revelation helped me. Go ahead and like and favorite if you enjoyed. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Y'all are my VIPs. And with all that said, I hope you have a great day.